So now, based on our knowledge of close line chart, we'll see what are the trends in a stock market. This is going to be a game changer for all of you and you'll realize what mistake you have been doing in what you call as the long term investing. Okay, so let's now look at this. What are the type of trends in a stock market? If I show you this close line chart, which is nothing but the same way drawn, what do you see here? So what I see is, let me show you. If you look at these, right, they are higher tops and they are higher bottoms. So you see that there are higher tops form and higher bottoms form. So this is called as an uptrend, which means the stock is going up. But does the stock go vertically up? No, it goes up, takes a dip, goes up, takes a dip, goes up, takes a dip, goes up. And then finally, when it breaks this bottom, makes a lower bottom, that's where the trend changes. So as of now, this is an uptrend. Now tell me one thing. Okay, let me come back to this question. So this is an uptrend. Okay, so we saw that there is a dip and the dips are higher than the previous one, making higher bottoms, higher top. So the saying is you buy on dips in an uptrend, which means you buy here and we will have systems later on going forward to from basic to advanced courses. And even as a part of this free program at the end, I'll give you one strategy which will help you to understand which dip to buy. Okay. So So this is the uptrend where we need to buy on dips. Now, if you look at this, it is making lower tops and lower bottoms, lower tops, lower bottoms. So this is a downtrend, right? So what I see is every time it crashes and it rallies, then it crashes more, again it rallies, crashes more, again it rallies, crashes more. What's happening here is the saying is just like you buy in an uptrend, you sell on a rally in a downtrend, which means in a downtrend, when there is a rally, you sell, rally, you sell. Now selling can be done. If you have that stock with you, you can exit it. Or if you don't have, there is a concept called as futures as a part of derivatives, which we're not discussing here. It's a part of other programs, right? Where you, even if you don't have the stock, you can sell or that is called as shorting the stock. But for now, just understand that if a stock is in a downtrend, it's in your portfolio, sell and exit that stock. Okay. So now if I understand this much and I ask you, if I bought something say at hundred rupees, when should I buy more at 140 rupees? When should I buy more at 160 rupees? Right? So I need to be a buyer in an uptrend. But what do I do? I buy at 200, I buy at 150, I buy at 80, it goes at 50 and becomes my long term investment. So did you understand the difference in a real long term investment is this, which you keep on adding the wrong long term investment is this, which we should not be adding. Okay. So that is the difference. Now, we have realized that this is a mistake we have always done which by looking at 52 week lows and trying to buy them, right? I have done it. I admit it. I have done it when I started way back 2003, 2004. I used to just look at 52 week lows and buy them and considering that I was the only smart person in the market to know that these are a 52 week low and it's going to go high from here. But I used to always see that it used to go down. That's when I realized that I used to look at 52 week highs. Okay. So it's all a journey and just to cut short that 18 years of my journey for you all into the next three, four months, that's where you need to invest in learning and learn from someone who has gone through it. Okay. So that's about uptrend, downtrend. Additionally, there's one more trend. So if you have noticed what happened to Reliance between say 2012 to 2016, it was going in a range. Okay a, a 300, 300 point range throughout these four years. Now that going inside that range, neither going above, neither making a lower bottom, neither making a higher top, but going in that same zone that is called as a sideways trend. So we have three trends, 
uptrend where we need to buy on dip, downtrend where we need to sell on rally and a sideways trend where we need to stay out of the market. But there are certain things as a part of other strategies where you can apply very nicely to sideways market. But for now, just understand you need to buy uptrended stocks. Okay. So that's about trends. And now we'll move to the next topic. I'm sure you all are finding this interesting, valuable and you're all happy to be a part of this program. And I can make, I, I hope that I made a change to your life through this and you all are happy to be a part of this. So let's move to the next topic now and hope you understood trends at the end of it. When I'll show you how to see charts, you can definitely look at your portfolios and what's the trend for those. 